Good morning, students of class 9. Welcome back to the online classes now. Let's continue our lesson in English. We are doing My Childhood, an autobiography written by APJ Abdul Kala. It is an extract from the book named The Wings of Fire. Now he gives us a brief description of his childhood, how he spent his childhood, what was his family like, and uh, what things we can learn from his autobiography. So now, we are from paragraph 2, we have reached paragraph 2. In our previous class, we have done the introduction and paragraph 1. Now, in paragraph 2, there are 4 points, and in paragraph 3, there are again another 3 points, more are there. So let's continue our lesson. Paragraph 2. Abdul Kalam was one of many children in his family. He, uh, they, have, they had many children, brothers and sisters. They were born to a tall and handsome parents. But Abdul Kalam had an undistinguished look. He was not very handsome. We have learned that. So Abdul Kalam was one of the many children. They lived in their ancestral house. The house was very old. It was built by their ancestors, forefathers. Their grandfather, maybe great grandfather, they must have built it. But it was very big and it was a pakka house. It was fairly large. It was very large. The house was very large and large and pakka house made of limestone and bricks. In olden days, so people hardly used cements. Cements were used when the Britishers came. But before that, people used to build houses made of limestone and bricks on the mosque street in Ramesar. His house was on the mosque street, mosque street of Rameswar. So this is number one. Now here, his austri father, austri means very simple, but strict. His austri father, simple, he was a very simple man, but very disciplined, well disciplined and very strict. His austri father used to avoid, keep away, avoid means keep away, all in essential, which is not necessary, in essential comfort and luxuries. Abdul Kalam's father, Jainul Abdin, he was an Austri father. He avoided all in essential, which is not necessary, all in essential comfort and luxuries, such as sofa set, TVs, fridge, washing machine, these are all kinds of comforts, luxuries. Since Abdul Kalam belonged to a middle class family and his father he had uh, neither formal education nor very rich. So naturally, he avoided all in essential comfort and luxuries. But however, all necessities, all necessities were provided for. Whatever things are required, which is necessary in the house for the family, he provided everything. In terms of food, in terms of food, clothes, medicine, he provided them all properly. He looked after the family properly. His father used to uh, uh, um, work as a boatman to ferry the people from the mainland to the Rameswaram. His father was a boatman. He used to earn a little bit of money. That's why they, were, they belonged to the middle class family. His earnings were not very high. But still, he provided all necessities in terms of food, clothes, medicine and all but avoided all in essential comforts. Now here, in fact, really, if we speak, in fact, his childhood, his childhood means Abdul Kalam's childhood, was secure, safe, both materially, materially and emotionally. All material things, such as clothes, foods, and medicines, houses, everything he had, both materially and emotionally. His childhood was quite secure compared to those other poor children 
who never had enough food, who never had enough clothes, who didn't have a good house. So compared to those poor children, his life, childhood was quite secure and safe. Now that was in paragraph 2. Now we'll go to paragraph 3. In paragraph 3, the Second World War broke out in 1939. So when Abdul Kalam was 8 years old, at that time he was very young, he was 8 years old, and at that time Second World War broke out. It was in the year 1939. He was 8 years old, very young, he could not understand much. For reasons he was never been able to understand. Abdul Kalam never understood why there is a demand for tamarind seed in the market. There was a great demand for tamarind, demand for tamarind seeds. Tamarind, you know, do you know? Tamarind means imli, that's a, a sour a fruit. So there was a sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted, erupted means came up in the market. But Abdul Kalam could not understand why. What is the purpose of uh, what they will make out of this? He could not understand, but there was a great demand for tamarind seed in the market. And Abdul Kalam, he used to collect the seeds from the grounds. People used to eat and throw the seeds. He used to collect those seeds. And during the whole day, he used to collect some bit, some, some amount, and sell them in the provision shop, provision shop, means groceries, grocery shop. He used to sell them in a provision shop on the mosque, mosque street and used to earn one anna. One anna means six paisa. At that time six paisa was quite big, quite a lot of money. So he used to collect the tamarind seeds while going to school, while coming from school, he used to collect the seeds from the roads, from around that street and he used to collect them in the evening and sell them, uh, sell them in the evening in the mosque street, in the provision shop. And he used to earn a small amount of money, that is six pies, one anna. So, to be continued, we'll continue in our next class. So, I'll go through this properly. It's all about our former president, Abdul Kalam, APJ Abdul Kalam Azad. He was also called a missile man. He was a great scientist and a statesman. We know it very well. He was a great statesman as well as a great scientist. So he was also called a missile man of India. So now we'll continue in our next class. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching the online portal every day. It will not take much time, but you go through it every day so that we'll not miss any classes, so that you can understand everything clearly. We'll go paragraph wise. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video.